I came over to Jesse's today to finish his uh, livery, putting it on, all the stickers and everything. And it looks pretty good. Just need to, he doesn't have the side skirt, so we didn't put like that piece on for the side skirt. But the rest of it came out uh, pretty decent. There's uh, the transfer film, had a lot of uh, like bubbles in it. So you know, every time you put on stickers, it's kind of a pain when you have that, the bubbles in the transfer film. But yeah, the car looks really nice with all the uh, stickers and stuff on it. He has some more decals like this that are gonna go all over the rest of the car. So uh, at the event, the guy's gonna bring the rest of them and we'll put them on then. I'm gonna go after we do this. Well, now that this is done, go to uh, the shop, work on the g -sum. I need to go by my semi-trailer and try to find the uh, the notcher for the uh, to do the uh, bash bar and everything. So I'm gonna do that and maybe uh, Jesse said that, that seat up there is a little bit tight and he had some like uh, make your own seat brackets and that kind of seemed like he'll put the, the seat up way too high too. So I'll probably just make some like fixed brackets because I'm gonna be the, I'm planning on being the only one driving the car and that's like, I don't, I don't really care because I, it's, it's like the car I'm gonna be driving so I don't plan on anybody else like driving it. So I don't have to really worry about like the seat. It's gonna be like fit for me. Jesse said he might let me use those Takata harnesses since I don't have seat belts in my car and maybe this steering wheel. So I could get rid of the like the factory G, G steering wheel and kind of push it out a little bit further with, uh, with a, like a, an energy hub and that steering wheel. So we'll see what happens. Trying to get this done. Tomorrow's the event. Um, the night drifting is tomorrow and it is uh, from like 5 p.m. to like 12, 25 a.m. A.m., right? Yeah, a.m. So hopefully I have everything done. The radiator should be here at like 4 p.m. So I'll have the car just like waiting for the radiator and I'll make all the mounts with the old radiator. I'll just like probably just jump on it. So it's kind of, I don't know, so it, it works. We'll see because I need to make brackets. And you outside how about that oh bud Did you lock the trailer shit on the truck? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Come on, you want me to roll back? No. Hold on, let me look. Just... Careful. Yeah, no shit. Oh shit, man! You're good. Um, just roll back very fucking slowly. Roll back slowly. Just very slow. <laughs> Keep going. Slow, slow, slow. 
slow. Hold on, slow, stop. Now start going really slow. All the way out. Oh shit. Round two. Yeah. there's good so I think I'm gonna mount my seat since I'm so tall I'm gonna mount it pretty far back that's gonna be so sick and then uh, I got this seat belt right here the uh, one that the airbags went off I just took like the mechanism piece out of it so I'm gonna do that with the passenger one and throw the passenger seat in but yeah the so this little thing right here like when your airbags go off like like shoots down like from here, it's like up in there, it shoots down to lock it in place, whatever position it's in. So I took it out, seatbelt works again. So I'm gonna use that seatbelt. Uh, if I don't end up putting a cage in here because you know, I kind of want to tandem, but uh, I may put harnesses. It might be easier to just throw a harness in because the seat's so far back. So here's the front bolts up here. So I'll have to make a bracket that kind of goes far enough back so I could mount this, this seat uh, pretty much like in the back, back, I could just like in the back seat almost. So yeah, I'm gonna mount that thing in there. It feels really nice where it's at. Well, other than not being like bolted down and like too, like it's, it needs to come up a little bit, but knee wise, I've never had like been able to not have my knees interfere with the steering wheel. So that'll probably improve my driving a lot. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'm kind of like tucked in here. And uh, well, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it works. I wanna uh, make this bracket really quick and bolt this seat in. Hopefully everything works. I'm gonna fix the passenger seat belt because the, when the airbag went off, passenger one went off too. So that one's locked up. And then I'm gonna put the stock passenger seat back in the car. So if anybody wants to come right along, they can. So, and then I still need to do bash bar. I went to the semi-trailer, got the, the notcher out of it. So all I need to do is get to work, really. Seat mounted in here. It's nice and uh, it's just like a, a non like movable rail. So it's in there. Uh, I fit pretty well in it. And this is like the first time I've ever Trevor can't even like reach the pedals it's so far so first time I've ever been able to like actually have my knees like under the steering wheel and I can actually like heel toe without like like my knee was like hitting the steering wheel and stuff so yeah yeah this this is gonna be dope so I don't know can't wait to drive this thing at the event I am gonna have to wake up and do the bash bar and once the radiator comes put the radiator and everything in we'll see if i get to the event tomorrow it's just kind of like a practice anyway but uh sunday's like the actual race so uh we'll see what happens and I'll kind of keep you updated on the uh radiator but it'll be after the event and everything because that'll be the monday video so yeah, right now I just have that crappy radiator hanging there. I'm going to pull that off. I need to use this this hose. And then that hose laying over there is for the G35 as well. And then maybe secure this somehow, depending on... It's supposedly supposed to rain this whole weekend. So if it does do that, I'll really save a lot of tires. So I'll put some brand new like steers on the front and then not have to worry about like 
killing like a ton, which I really didn't think I was going to kill that many tires, but you know, it'll, it, when it rains, it's always saves you a lot in tires when you drift. So yeah, I'm going to go home and then tomorrow I'm going to do all the radiator stuff.